Okay, guys. So, um, I've been seeing a lot of stuff uh, about how it's difficult to, to find and, and locate your plugins and what folders they are. Uh, so, I'm uh, making another quick tip video just to kind of demonstrate um, Pipeline uh, in response to a question I asked in the forums. He uh, turned me on to this uh, little app or this program, whatever you want to call it. And it's, it's quite incredible. Um, and there's quite a few demonstration videos of amazing things that, that it opens up tremendous horizons because it's it's a modular, it's called a mini host modular VST. But I am, this in this video, I'm just going to show the very simplest kind of use that, that you could use it for, which will also be the most helpful to many people here. Uh, let's listen to this track. Uh, first of all, one of the things about MIDI drums, MIDI drums are coming up all the time. Uh, with 64-bit, you could use Empty Power Drummer. Uh, this is a demo. It's got this really cool kind of sound that the, the MIDI drums were programmed very well. And uh, when it automatically loaded, I actually usually keep that off. I think when I upgraded it, switched the settings back. I don't like replacing the MIDI drums with the real style, I like being prompted. Um, so let's let's take a listen. <laughs> drums have this lovely pacing but but this is not quite what it's about a lot of the drums have this kind of very uh, pounding sound like this boo, bosh, like the 80s and you could just do so much better than that but but it's not about that either let's this is about mini host modular the reason I'm mentioning the drums is you could load empty power drummer which is free um uh, all right now, basically what happens here is you can get your different plugins to load, but every time you do AdBSD plugin, you got to put in the new path. It doesn't like have a browser. So what I'm going to do is let me show how a mini host modular works. Uh, so the 64 bit mini host modular will load into the 64 bit and work with 64 bit plugins. And, um, same with the 32-bit. Uh, so I actually used this before uh, Band in a Box 2019 came out, used it here. But the really cool thing is like when you first start this program, you're gonna, what to, do, to add a plugin, you go here and it has all your plugins and the ones that are 64 will say 64. See, basically because this browsed all my folders and sometimes I copied into many folders because I wanted, uh, before I really knew how to manage my plugins, I would just let them install willy nilly wherever they wanted to go. But if you just do add plugin, you wouldn't really get anything because the first thing you have to do, and actually every time you add a plugin, you need to go to file, you go to preferences, it goes over here, you do scan and verify. The first thing that it did is just scan and verify pretty much every single folder I had. It just knew. Okay. And then after it does that, and, and you could look at, at, at the, um, the directories here. If you pull it out, there are many, many, many different directories. Okay. If it does not uh, get your plugins on the first pass through, um, then it will, then you can actually go to the browser and you can add a specific path, um, to figure out how to load, uh, this itself into, uh, this as a plugin, there's another video, how to locate, uh, find a look at your VSDs and band in a box, but whatever. Okay. Now for some reason it's I just want to skip. Okay. Very good. That is done. Close preferences. And now, whenever you want to add a plugin, you have them all here. And Mini House Modular is in the place where a Pan in a Box wants to look. But once you have it, you're you're scot free. You just uh, it's got all the subfolders. You really don't have to think about it. If it doesn't find a certain plugin, um, so okay now. Once you load it in, it's it's really cool. You have uh, yellow, uh, this for MIDI, okay? You know, I'm gonna actually do a whole, maybe tutorial series uh, about tutorials about this. Go to view, view plugin only. 
Uh, yes, you definitely deserve a donation, um, but yeah. So this on itself is a kit. Now when we press play here, let's go back to view, view plugin and on the keyboard. No. MIDI's going in here. Going See the MIDI is going in here. Now if we have an audio, like uh, the what thing? Oh, something really cool you should just notice. Let's say you want to load a whole raft of plugins onto your um, different tracks and you know what you want, like here's an audio. This really cool swelling guitar, let's say I wanted to put some sort of tremolo or something on that. All I gotta do is go to Guitar 2 and load the plugin. So again, I would have to do MIDI host modular. And once that's there, it's there. I am not going to do that right now. Uh, because I've loaded MIDI host modular initially from some other folder it was in. Suffice it to say, um, that once here I have to do it again um, reload the plugin if I've um, exited that slot so you know what I'm actually there's like 30 trillion things that are really cool if you notice how you can route once the MIDI is producing a single you could route it out to audio effects you could do so many different things you could add an arpeggiator um, you know the problem when you are doing let's say you have Hats. Let us, um, if we still have the pads, oh, maybe they don't come in until the B section. Yeah. Well, let's say I wanted to put a standalone arpeggiator, like, uh, what is it, Blue Cat, Blue Arp, which is one of the best things ever made. So if I would add a Blue Arp, it would not have, be able to drive a signal. You know, all those signal paths are actually on my 32-bit version, and, and I've actually set it up in a way I could demonstrate it a lot better. But for now, what I'm trying to say, load mini house modular. Oh, there it is. Um, and just do the scan. You go to file. You go to preferences, scan, verify, and every single time you want to add, let, add, sorry, any kind of plugin. I mean, you could just go add plugin. Uh, you go to Absinthe for all I care. Um, you could load contact. You could load entire, you know, mini environments within this environment. And then you could send MIDI to one of those, then out and all sorts of insanely cool things. And you could do autom you can add a piano roll to do automation and switching. So get, I will uh, put a link in the description for mini house modular. Again, thank you, Pipeline. Uh, for uh, turning me on to this wonderful little applet or whatever it's called. And fellas, uh, just use this as a, a clearing shop for your plugins. If you can't find it or install it properly, see my video, how to look at install your uh, plugins. Uh, like or subscribe if you want. I don't care. This is not monetized. I'm doing this for the love. All right. Peace, fellas. Bye.